Hey guys, this is Paish from Bvom.com and the smartphones that we use are something very personal to us. And every time we hand over a phone to someone else, there's a lot of anxiety. I mean, on our phones, there are photos that we don't want everyone to see. There are apps that are very personal to us. And obviously there are important documents that we want to keep secure. So we all sort of need a folder where you can keep all of these photos, apps, documents, etc. And not worry about anyone else coming across them. Now, Samsung already has had a feature for this called Secure Folder, but what Samsung has done now is that it has made it even better and more accessible. Samsung's new feature is called Alt Z Live, and there are basically two features to it. First, Quick Switch, and second, Content Suggestions. Talking about Quick Switch, the reason Samsung has named this whole system Alt Z Live is because on Windows, you can quickly switch between different windows using Alt-Tab, and on Samsung phones, you'll be able to quickly switch between your public space and your private space using the All Z Live's quick switch feature and by just double clicking the power button. So basically what this does is it lets you keep two instances of the same app. So you can have a private version and a public version of the same app and you can just switch between them with a double click. Let me give you a personal example. So almost all of the modern day shows are 18 plus. So say I'm watching the new trailer of Boys on the private YouTube app. And if you watch the show, you'd know that the show is super violent. Even the trailer is violent or, you know, diabolical. Anyway, now say my papa or my ma sneaks up on me, I wouldn't want them to see all this gore. So I can just double click and I'm in a YouTube app watching a very, very sanskari video. Yeah, this is quite smooth. Anyway, if you're wondering, setting up Quick Switch is pretty easy. So in the secure folder app, I can just go to the settings and there's this option called Quick Switch, right? Well, this is it. I can just set the side key to Quick Switch to the secure folder or secure app. Also, as you can see, I can add the different apps here so that I can use them privately. There's even a Play Store here, so apps you install here won't show up in the public space, which is also pretty handy. So that was Quick Switch. Coming to the second All Z Live feature, Content Suggestions, which is also very, very handy. Now, let me explain with a personal example. See, whenever I give my phone to my family or my friends to, you know, show them a couple of photos, they always kind of get carried away and, you know, swipe a lot more, scroll a lot more than I want them to. I mean, there are photos and videos and people that I don't want them to see. So for this, in the secure folder, there's this new app called Content Suggestions. And this basically detects all the photos that we generally deem personal and something we might want to hide. As you can see, these are the photos. It is suggesting me to move to the private gallery and I can just select all and just move them. Another thing I like is I can also select a person whose photos I want to move to the private gallery. So I can just select the person and the AI will suggest me all of the photos of that person, which is pretty handy. So basically now I have two gallery apps with private and public photos and my friends can now swipe and scroll all they want. Let's say you're in a situation where you know the photos you'll be taking will be personal. Well, you can just double click and access the private camera app instead of the usual camera app. The photos you click from this private camera app automatically go to the private gallery. So that's great. Now let me give you a couple of more practical examples of where you can use the All Z Live features. So with this, you can have dating apps like Tinder in the secure space. So say you're using Tinder and someone from your family just comes up. You can just double click and it'll take you to the home screen since Tinder is not installed on the public space. Nice. A use case I personally find interesting is that I can keep my private tabs on Chrome in the private space. So say I'm reading something controversial. Well, I can just switch to the public room when someone comes and this way my personal tabs are open in the private space and I can just continue where I left off. So it's clear that the All Z Live feature has a lot of use. I mean, you can keep two WhatsApp accounts, save your personal data and documents like say your IDs, your bank statements, your banking apps, all in the secure folder so that nobody else can have access to them. I also like the fact that you can choose to lock the secure folder with fingerprints or any of the multiple authentication methods as you can see. Also, you can choose to automatically lock the folder immediately so that no one else can double click and access your private apps. You can even hide the secure folder icon from the public app screen. So all in all, the new All Z Live features, including quick switch and content suggestions are just super handy. Now coming to the important question, which phones are getting this cool new All Z Live feature? Well, right now, this is only for the A-series phones and it will arrive as an update on the Galaxy A51 and the Galaxy A71. Plus, the update that brings the All Z Live features to the A51 and A71 will also include some flagship camera features like single take, which takes multiple stylized photos, the ability to switch between the front and the rear cameras while recording video, night hyperlapse, custom filters, and a lot more. So this is quite an interesting update. 
Now, if you can't really wait for the update, the Galaxy A71 with all of these features is now available in this brand new color, Haze Crush Silver, and it has this matte finish that's nice. It also gets a new price of 3999 and there is up to 2500 rupees cashback offer as well. So that's pretty nice. Plus, you'll be able to avail no cost EMI options. So yeah, check out the Galaxy A71. See, overall, in my brief usage of the Alt Z Live features, I have found it to be quite interesting and I can see a lot of people using it to keep their public and their private space separate. Anyway, what do you think of these new features? Tell us in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure to share it with your friends. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. Well, that's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.